Hey y'all, it's Anime Game Man, and today I'm going to be reviewing episode 73 of Gekigen no Kitaro. And I gotta say, this episode, I am actually impressed with how Toei mixed in nice comedy with horror elements in this episode at once. Because I like it's this episode's premise where I got a man down on his luck. Because he tried to confess to this woman and he got sever severely rejected. And I was just like, whoa. But then afterwards, what I liked about this specific episode was he tried to find, like, on the internet some way to improve his life. And he finds this legend about this Yamata no Orochi where if he goes to Mount Onguru, he can go and find, like, this object that can reanimate wishes. So essentially goes into this mountain and I like how already this episode started out with having like Yuri Bites with Gitaro. With Gitaro well not necessarily Gitaro but in like a later sequence you have Gitaro warn him because at first an old man warns him don't go there but then he ignores it goes there gets a diamond and then he starts making wishes and then it's all fine peaches and roses at first. But then eventually, I like how this episode, when he makes wishes, it just twists his wishes automatically. And even though, well, yes, it, I could see it coming from a mile away because in Gekiga no Gitaro, usually when things seem easy, they don't seem so easy. And usually things get twisted on their head. I love its ex execution because I was even surprised. Because in the first place, when he made one of his first witches to get his money, I didn't expect it to be twisted as much as far as his own father dying and him getting the life insurance proceeds. But then afterwards, when it had the random ass plot revelation in a later sequence, because then afterwards he uses it to marry this woman that he wants to marry. But then here's the thing. This one that he marries only wants him for his money so then he she can divorce him and then she can live off the proceeds when I saw that I was like damn <laughs> but in a way it does make sense because since wish granting devices usually aren't to the interpretation of the wish grantor it does make sense and it makes her some dark dark irony and I like kind of like the dark humor in this episode too because when the glasses dude's character's dad dies, he doesn't feel a single bit of remorse. And while I guess it establishes that his father was living off of his, off of the, off of the glasses dude's money, it's still kind of fucked up. I was like, damn. <laughs> so I like little twists like that because normally it makes you think that, oh, this character's gonna feel sad, but then when this character's all set up, like, kind of gave me a quick laugh because I was like, yo, this guy is so greedy, things are gonna turn out bad for him. And then what do you know, as the episode progresses, things just keep on getting shittier and shittier for him, and I was like, whoa. And then afterwards, when he says he doesn't wanna deal with the woman anymore, it was even crazy how they just have a plane randomly crash and the lady dies and I was like, oh shit. And then when Glasses Dude's like telling the Orochi Diamond that he didn't wish for that and you see him tear up, that was actually a crazy sequence right there. And it made for some nice intensity in this episode because that's where the comedy elements of this episode were gone and then directly it goes to horror because he tries to run away from the diamond and it keeps on following and then shit just keeps on escalating to the point where the diamond attracts these Yakuza gang members that want to get his money and then then afterwards you have Gitaro trying to take down the diamond and what I like specifically about this sequence is during this episode, you still have the diamond psychologically attack this dude, saying shit like, if you don't save me, then these Yakuza members are going to give you a fate worse than death. And then when he wishes for Guitar to disappear, I like how this episode subverts my expectations, because for a sec, I thought there was a chance that Guitar could die. But then I like how near the end, it trolls up and trolls us and Guitar's actually alive. And I was like, oh shit. I like the fast one this episode pulled because from a story standpoint, it was nice. 
because it just elevated the tension level by at first showing us the power of this yokai because you see it perform feats like killing this human woman like that but then afterwards when you th think it, Kitaro's taken down near the end you find that Kitaro's still alive so I do like that element and afterwards when you have glasses to make one more wish he just wishes he would have no more wishes and I love the little twist where it's revealed that after he does all the wishes now he's stuck at the at this mountain and now his only way of escaping is to utilize this stone and have trick someone into using the Yamato no Orochi stone so that it could actually take glasses to his place and when the episode just ends and this dude is just trapped into like this freaking body I was just fucking floored and I was like damn now that is a magnificent ending for an episode and I thought that was a great way of capping off the episode because for one it has a nice moral message for kids with or even adults where if you get too gritty bash it's gonna happen to you in this case since this individual was trying to trying to get too greedy bad shit start, started to occur to him, like his money being taken away and all that kind of jazz. So I like this specific elements about this episode because it has it's the implication for kids where if you get too greedy and you act up on that greed, like when Glasses Dude acted up on the greed by making wishes, you could end up in jail. And this is where I make the comparison. At the end of the episode, when he's sealed up, he's pretty much trapped in the mountain and until he can fool someone into using the Orochi Diamond. Now, the reason I relate that to prison is because if you do bad things, then you're going to be in prison. So I kind of like how this episode is symbolically telling people, at least kids, that if you do bad, too many bad things, you'll get in jail. So I liked that moral message about this episode and also like the other moral message about the episode where if you truly want good things to occur for you, you gotta work hard towards it. You can't just half-ass shit. And I like how it also has an implication for women and men and boys and girls too where if you end up in a relationship with someone and it feels too freaking easy, then that's because it is too fucking easy. In that instance, and it probably isn't a real type of romantic love, and it could and make you end up in a situation where you could lose your belongings towards a loved one. In this case, when Glasses do made a wish to marry this woman, this woman wanted to like marry with them and then divorce with them afterwards. Kind of like how it also tells youngins that be careful who you marry because if you marry too quickly you could kind of get screwed over by your partner. At least that's the other implicit message that I got from this episode. And that's why I felt it was also great. Just a lot of messages you can get from this episode all around. So that's why I felt from the script standpoint, it was amazing. And I'd say the only flaw was, I really would have liked to have seen how Kataro survived the lightning strike from the Yamato no Orochi diamond. But I'd say that's the only minor complaint. But other than that, Everything else in this episode was solid and it gave me some laps. And as for the character standpoint, I like it. It actually gave Kitaro some nice characterization because at, he did at the very least try to warn Glasses Dude not to use the diamond. And he did want to take out some of the Yamato no Orochi diamond also. And he would have done it too if he wasn't stopped. So these elements in this episode I like, especially when Kitaro's like, normally I don't help out. When he says, like, normally he doesn't know about people like him, and he still did, that was nice. It shows you a bit of Katara's gentle side, in a way. So, nice characterization for him in this episode. And additionally, I liked the Yamato no Orochi Yoka. I liked his sinisterness and all that when he twisted every single wish. It kind of made for some comedic sequences and some sad sequences, too. So, that's why I felt from a character standpoint. It was pretty nice. And animation and are actually pretty beautiful, especially every single scene where Katara was using like the finger gun. It was well choreographed, I gotta say. And it made the finger gun look way stronger than usual 
because of the animation quality. It made it feel like it had weight. And the voice performances and the soundtrack are great. And that's why I'm going to rate this episode an 8.5 out of 10. And then get a 9 out of 10 because I still would have liked to have seen how Guitaro survived this lightning strike. But other than the slight bit of rushing, I enjoyed what I got in this episode immensely. So anyways, y'all, these are my thoughts on Gekka Gen Guitaro episode 73. Be sure to comment on your thoughts in the episode in the costume below. Rate the video, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later if you come back for more. Alright, y'all, thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.